So currently, Skywars Insane Mode is kind of filling, which it normally doesn't. A lot of the time these days, it has zero players, which is really sad to see because this is my favorite game in Skywars. A large majority of my stats come from Solo Insane. So I'm going to play some games in Insane Mode. So I always run Scout in Insane Mode. There's been a lot of meta changes lately, like Frog was meta for a long time, but now it's Scout again. But Scout's always been my main kit, so I'm really glad that it's actually like meta again. It's, it's, I feel at home. But I've just been playing some some Insane Skywalls today, and honestly, like, there's just a, a level of satisfaction I get from playing Insane Skywalls that... I don't know, man. I just don't get from normal mode, and it's because of like the, the speed and the pulls and the, the strength chains, you know? Like, I can't do this kind of thing. And normally, it's so satisfying and I love it so much. One of the biggest issues regarding how dead the game is, is that the queues are always exactly the same. Like, I just queue the same people over and over again. But sometimes that's not the worst thing in the world. Like, right now, the queues are really nice. That's not to say that everybody's playing is just bad. It's more so just that nobody's, like, cheating and nobody's being annoying. So even when I'm fighting other good players, they're normally, like, good fights, even if I lose. All right, we've got a head game here. I think this is Kato. Oh no, I'm sorry, Kato. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> this map used to be really good for this game, like insane Skywars. High kill games on Sanctum went crazy. Because you can just get crazy strength chains, which I might need to wait for strength here. If I'm not going to get it, wow, I think he must have pulled away. That's that's really depressing, actually. It's currently 12.30 a.m. I've never stayed up this late playing Skywars, or at least not for a very, very long time. But bro, insane mode's filling, man, so I have to. Oh shit, that aggro pearl was crazy. Did he have more pearls? That was his only pearl, wow. That was a really, I, I don't know, I respect that move, bro. I was not expecting him to do that, and he used his only pearl to kind of like, trick me out. But the way he kind of turned, like he, I could tell he had a pearl based on how he positioned himself in the void, but he was still facing me, so I, I don't know, I kind of expected a pearl to come. But that was, uh, that was, I respect it, it was very bold, a very bold move, a bold play. I'm interested to know if you guys prefer insane over normal mode, like, I feel like if you're watching this gameplay right now, me getting like combos like that and like, and it's like purling around and getting strength changed and stuff. Like to me, like that is just peak Skywars. You can't beat that. But a lot of people do prefer normal mode. I mean, clearly because that's the game that's alive. And I respect it, but I don't understand it. I think normal generally is a lot more strategic. Like you, that's why you find more like miners in there and stuff like that. I find insane mode to be a lot more chilled out. I think when I'm recording normal mode, I tend to like commentate over the actual gameplay a lot more because I'm like really focused on what I'm doing and what my plan is going to be for the game. But in insane, I can just chill, man. I can just sit back, just autopilot. But maybe that's just because I'm so much more used to insane. Like I used to main this game. I'm in this game for a long time. Is he going to, oh, that's, he's going to TP back, right? Yeah. Okay. Good. Goodbye. Something I've noticed as well, I don't know if you guys have seen this, if you've been playing the game recently, but in normal, I find like all the maps are just the same. Like I'm queuing the same maps over and over again, and I think people are like map selecting and just playing the same maps. But playing insane mode has actually given us, like I haven't played this map in so long, and it's been in rotation for a little while, I believe. But even if it hasn't been in rotation for a while, I haven't queued it at all, and I've been playing quite a lot the last few days since the last rotation. So it's nice to be able to actually like play <laughs> maps <laughs> when insane mode's filling. Oh my god, wait. I gotta lock in here, actually. This is kind of chaotic. Wait, I can get this kill. There we go. Strength. Strength. Oh my god. What's going on? Wait. Oh, they're both really low, actually. Get this guy first. He gapped up, but... I can get the kill, hopefully. I'm on. I'm solo. I'm solo. Please, give me strength. Oh my god! <laughs> he also had strength there. That was insanely close. Oh shit, I just got lagged back. There we go. Oh, that other guy died as well, so that's the win, GG. Oh, we've got a spooky game, okay. These are really broken in um, normal mode because of the end lord meta. Because there's a bug where like, if you're an end lord and you get a spooky game, uh, your pearls just work, like off the bat, there's no cooldown on them. Normally you have to wait 30 seconds before you can use. That guy was either lagging or b-hopping. I don't know which one it was, but we got him anyway. Because in normal mode, with end lord kits, you have to wait 30 seconds before you can use your time warp pills. But I think it's because of risky pills. They like mess up how time ops work and you can just like use them straight away. But because there isn't an end lord meta in insane mode, that's not an issue. Right, I'm going to pull on this guy. Why he's not expecting it. Get the kill, nice. He had a pill for me as well. Nice. 
All right, now let's go, this guy. Last guy in the game. Oh, he pulled. Let's drop on him. Boom. But yeah, man, it's safe to say I've been enjoying the game again a lot recently. The excitement of the upcoming kit prestige is up there. It's just got me, I don't know, man. It's just got me excited and it's got me hyped. And now I'm playing insane mode. Like, I've been voluntarily playing Skywalls for about an hour and a half right now. Just playing insane mode. Just trying to get some wins. In the middle of the night, you know? Like, <laughs> Hypixel's been really laggy for me recently. Like, really, like, on and off as well. It's really inconsistent and it's annoying. Because sometimes I really want to play. I really want to, like, record a video or stream or something. But I'm just like laggy and I'm just getting like 250 ms or something like that. But it's not even like 250 ms consistently. It's like inconsistent, which is what makes it so bad. Like I could probably just play with 250 ms. I mean, I would suck with it, of course. I'm not used to it at all. But like at least it would be playable, right? Because like I can just like kind of over time I would get used to it. And it's like consistent enough to get used to. But when I'm just like spiking a lot, like that's what makes it so difficult to play. Because there's no consistency and it's just it's really annoying. Oh, I'm dead. We're both dead. Not that I care about sessions anymore and about win-loss or, or stats or ratios or anything like that. But over the last, like, hour and a half that I've been playing, I've got a 1.2 win-loss session. Which, bro, I haven't gotten that high in absolutely ages. Which is insane, man. It's just so nice to play a game that's actually fun and enjoyable and everybody's kind of chill in it, at least. I don't know. Or maybe everybody's chill except me. Maybe I'm the annoying one here because I'm the one that's actually, like, trying to win. I don't know. I don't know, man. It's interesting to see, like, so many different people playing this game, though. Like, I don't really understand, like, what gets people into Skywars these days with how awful it is. Maybe, like, the reason I'm getting such free queues is because matchmaking isn't working because there's so little people playing. Like, there's meant to be, like, queues for, like, new players and queues for experienced players. But if there's not enough players to fill, like, two queues at once, maybe it just, like, merges them. I'm not sure. Did I guy survive? How? <laughs> oh, what? He's just there. Okay. Well, you want to die this time? Please. Let's go. Alright, last guy. Let's get this dub. Nice. Alright, let's get one last game in here. We're on Overfall, which is not a very good map, in my opinion. I find Scout isn't too useful on this map. The speed just isn't that good because of all the water. It is still good, of course. If I get speed, I'm still going to use it. But like, but I feel like Scout's just, I don't know. It's just not the best choice for this map. Anyway, let's just try and get this clean here. And I'm going to aggro pearl this guy. He has a chest plate for me. If I can get the kill. It's on one. There we go. I'll get the chest plate later if I need to. I might be able to just get this guy's. There we go. So I do have time orbs because I went to end lord, but I might not even need them because I've got quite a lot of pearls as it is. It's just aggro pearl. Let's get the shot. Nice. I'm going to aggro pearl on this guy. Okay. I forget how much I dislike this map, bro. <laughs> Why is it just a cave there? We got the kill though. He took a lot of knockback there. Oh, this is the last guy as well. Let's get this dub here. Okay, okay, okay. That was scary. I, <laughs> I thought I died. He's toxic as well. That's so sad. All right, guys, that's it for today. If you get the chance to play insane mode, I recommend it. It's not very popular these days. And sometimes when it does queue, the queues are just really sweaty. But every now and then, like today, you find some good queues and it's fun. If you made it this far, comment like, I don't know. What should you comment? Comment this guy's name. Comment the Doodle King. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.